Sleep is another thing that's really imperative. If you don't go to sleep, you're gonna be groggy, you're gonna be tired, you can't fully function at your maximum capacity. So it's recommended that we get seven to nine hours of sleep. Everybody's needs are different. Some people say, I can't sleep over six. Whatever your body needs, just listen to your body and do what your body tells you to do. But it's recommended that you sleep nude, number one. So a lot of ladies, if you menopause, oh, you know what that means, right? So you sleep nude. What that does is allows the chemicals in your body to be released freely so that now your body can uh, function at optimal function, sleep in a dark, cool environment, avoid your food and alcohol at least an hour before you're gonna go to sleep. These are ways that you optimize your sleep experience. And I liken sleep to a computer. If you have your computer, you let your computer run, 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 you never ever turn that computer off. What's gonna happen to it? It's gonna overheat, right? It's gonna shut down whether you want it to or not. Well, it's the same way with your body. If you do not take cool down periods, if you do not have to take rest breaks, guess what? Your body's gonna shut you down whether you want to or not. How does your body do that? You may get sick, you may get a common cold, you may get the flu. Things, your body will let you know that it needs a break. And if you don't take that break, your body's gonna put you in break mode.